Okay, let's start our session. So just to, to give you a review, I mean, a recap of what we have learned so far. We have seen uh, introduction to Ariba and user uh, navigation. And after that, we started with sourcing projects and uh, sourcing events creation and all. Then we started with contracts templates. We have done contract templates. We are working on contract templates. And today class, we are going to see about uh, contract authoring as well as contract templates. And we also see how to import uh, legacy contracts. So let's start our session with the contract authoring. So contract authoring is how you are uh, doing a contract normally with the parties. How a general scenario, how it will happen between you know, parties of the vendors. So let me share one screen. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So I just started preparing a, a random uh, sample how the contract looks like. Uh, so contract will have a kind of an introduction where it says what is for this contract and the parties, parties will include who are all parties affected in this contract, basically the buyer and the seller. I'm taking an example of LG Corporation, which will be act as a buyer and the con and the seller will enter into contract with Thomson Street Manufacturing UK being the seller or the vendor being the seller or vendor of the products. Then they will have product. What we are talking about, they will have a product details uh, under the section head. Mm -hmm. Then the legal. So with what jurisdiction they would like to, if there is a conflict of uh, interest or there is an issue, so who are at, at uh, what regional level they will be having uh, their arbitration done that they will be mentioning and conflict of interest. So suppose uh, LG has certain standard operating procedures and uh, uh, the other vendor, Thompson's have uh, clean manufacturers have different uh, uh, interest of business. So if there is any conflict, what should have to be done? Uh, what is the proposed action? And the term will include what is the pricing terms or whatever uh, the agreed terms between the vendors. Again, the contract will be mentioned. Then there is a section called notices where it is mentioned whom to contract in case of a issue or what is the parties if the people are uh, dealing with those details will be entered under the heading uh, notices and the termination so what is the termination process it is whether it is a 30 days or it is a 365 days whether it is a written like that and then signature signature will be done by both buyer as well as seller so this is how uh, it is just a i can a kind of a broad overview of how the contract will have generally the contract will lie around four to five pages and some companies will have 11 to 12 pages also depending upon the comes whatever mentioned in the agreement. So when you are calling this as a uh, authoring, so when we are doing into legacies, uh, Ariba legacy, this will be called as a section and this will be called as a class. So each document will have one section title. It is nothing but a title. The second one will be called as a classes. How the classes are identified is when you click this mark, then you will be able to see the paragraph marks. Any paragraph, so for example, introduction will be your section. And this, are, now we have not done anything. So at this stage, system thinks that this is also one class. This is also one class. There is empty space. So it is also treated as a one class. This is also one class. This is also one class. Let us see how this document look like when we import this document into Ariba screen. So we are going into site. I am creating contract workspace procurement. Test, sorry, let's take SG, contract, authoring. Mm -hmm. Can you share your screen of uh, the system? Okay. Please remind me because if I forget, please remind me. So you are able to see, right? So yeah. far you are seeing, right? What is my, where I have shown the document you have seen, right? Yeah, document yes, yes, we yes. were able to see. Okay. Yeah, now we are able to see the Ariba screen. Okay. So now we are working on Honda's uh, uh, server. So this will be the name, description, your bell familiar, how to create a contract workspace. Now I need to select the software. So this we will be able to do in our server? The, yeah, the yeah, you will be able to do. Yes, yes, you will be able to do. 
Because this is not your, uh, this is not the common server, right? This is your personal server, isn't it? I mean, where you were. No, no, no. This is given by SE only as a replacement for our uh, existing computer. Okay. So, I have created this. So, let's take a CWS template. Remember, this is also mine. I, uh, I probably last year I have created. Click create. So, test project is no. There are any conditions create. Okay. Now going to the document screen. Here you are adding. So the if you are adding as a document, now I will load as a document the same item. Terms and conditions. Sorry. So I am adding a document now. Choose file. You can even drag and drop also. Desktop. Open. So this document is loaded now. Click create. Okay. Now you will not see this document is loaded as a document only. Someone wants to see the document, they need to click view details or download draw, download draft. So a document copy will be downloaded, and from there you can see what is the document content. Suppose I am adding as a main agreement or contract addendum, then I can able to edit this document. If you are not using these two options, then you are not able to edit any of the document. So these two were used as a authoring, contract authoring purpose only. So suppose now I am adding a main agreement and you can only have one main agreement under documents. You can have n number of agreements as a contract addendum, but main agreement will always be only one document. So in that case, I'm just creating as a contract addendum, same file I will be taking. Click OK, create. There is a foul name, file name already exists. So in that case, I would like to delete my existing file. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Click OK. So to grant this access, you need to add the user to this role, right? It Nothing, no real, no really. So whoever has the option to create a contract with this, you can able to download it. Okay. And you selected the template CSC template, right? I mean, is it any specific you need to No, select? you can select any template. So that is what our job. So we need to define our contract uh, template as per the business requirement. So user need to aware which template need to be selected. The business user need to aware. So when we are giving user training or when the business tells a person to create a contract, they will tell you have to use this contract workspace uh, template for this purpose. Contract authoring I'm creating okay. now. Click create. And how many templates are there total for contract? You can create n number of templates. There is no limit on that. Okay. So now, earlier you are not seeing this option. Now you are able to see outline view. Clicking this outline view, all these will be shown as a classes. Okay. So now if you want to edit, substitute, delete, all these things are possible now. Since this is a section, either I can do promote to section from here. So now it is marked as a section. So now under the introduction, this will be the class. Then the part is also promote to section. Now I am saving this, click done. Contract, view detail, question history. This is one editing now. Click done. If I say publish, then document will get saved. So now I am opening this document again, download draft. How do I hit this? Okay, so I'm opening the document, enable editing. If you see this review, review pen. So this person has inserted introduction. So you will found the changes. So how 
system identifies a section and a class if you want to change this what you need to do is change this format all copy or another words paragraph section you need to make outline level as minimum level 1 you can use level 2 level 3 anything anything above body text will be treated as a section okay click level 1 okay we now i did the screen sorry i'm sharing my screen so you will be able to see i guess you are seeing right one. Yeah, the Honda ones. So level one, level two, you are showing. We couldn't see it. Now, I just shared a uh, full screen. Yes, now we can see this. Okay. So, yeah. uh, in the contract authoring, so when we are seeing there is a review that has happened because someone has edited this document, which is done by Ariba by the user. So, if you go to review and say review panel, then it says the person whoever edited this will be shown here. Close now. So now I am changing this introduction. How do I mark this as a section? Go to paragraphs, paragraph, outline level as one. Anything above the level one, level two, level three will be treated as a section. Body text will be treated as a class. Level one, click OK. So now repeating this. Either I can do F4 function repeat, if I, then it will show level one here. Yeah. 